So Terra Class just had its price correction here. So what happened and what's gonna happen to the future of Terra Luna? Can we continue to go up or is this it here for the Terra Luna pump? We're gonna have to check this out in this video. So I highly recommend everybody to watch the entire video. Okay, let's go. So only a small percentage of people are actually subscribed here to my channel. So if you want to help me reach 50,000 subscribers, just hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and it really helps the channel out. And you can always change your mind later. So here we are, core market cap right on the market cap here for Terra Luna Classic is basically at $810 million. The volume here is even greater, like bigger than the market cap. We're at almost at $1 billion here for the volume. Now the price here is at 0 0.0000. 12. So we're doing still a great job here because we're still stabilizing. We did go and make some new highs. That's awesome to see. Now let's continue. Let's, let's check out what's been happening here. So back to 1 billion mark cap. That was pretty awesome to see. Now we're below 1 billion, but still seeing this kind of thing happen. It's absolutely amazing that uh, people are this interested into Terminal Classic and that there's a chance here that we can revive Terminal Classic in the future. Are you here for long term or short term? Let's let me ask so we can work it out together. Better, uh, set up day trading or long-term holders so uh, I'm gonna say long-term holder yeah a lot of people are gonna be long-term holders because they do believe that we can continue to go up look at this now we have gained more holders in the last two days welcome to the classic club yeah a lot more holders than before seeing this like I said absolutely amazing good things have been happening guys good things have been happening here to turn classic like I said we have a dev team that's awesome they have been upgraded they have been updating uh, we got some staking going on here right now for terminal class that's awesome and right now we're having the price correction but that's, that's pretty normal I did tell you guys in my previous video that we cannot just go continue to go up we have to have a correction anonymous if you have this video i'm not really gonna play the video we have anonymous here talking about doquan so a message from anonymous for doquan so the classic is more than what you think so it looks like um anonymous is trying to investigate doquan and we're gonna see what's gonna happen with that if these guys are right, there's a lot of things that could change. Oh, look at this. USDC actually went up. Let's just, let's just search that. So USDC. USDC. So if we check that out, we're at 0 0.080. Okay. So last seven days, this thing here in the end also did go up. So we're not even still back at one, uh, like 10 cents here, but still. It looks like the price of the stable coin is slowly also going up. But you have to understand that the price of... Well, the classic will go down because of the stable coin. It's going to peg with the stable coin. So every time we're going to sell off some Luna to actually go and increase the price of uh, the stable coin here, which is super interesting, but it's not that good if you ask me because that means that Luna Classic cannot really grow too much without like without losing a lot of money because uh, because it's pegged here to USTC. So we're gonna talk, about, let's actually go and talk about that right now. So if you go here to the chart, this is what's happened. Basically, we're, we were at all the way here at 0 0.001. And I did tell you guys that pretty much we are gonna have that correction. I didn't know how big the correction could be because I didn't know how much we can continue to go up. So as you can see here, the high we had is at 0 0.00, let's say 17. So we reached 17. But we made that correction, we got rejected and we continue to, to go down by 36% or 33% right now. So we got rejected right over here this level. So as you can see, because of this, we got rejected. But will we continue to go down even more? All depends right now. The problem I'm seeing is Bitcoin right now. So Bitcoin also break broke below $20,000. So that could be a trigger also that made Terra Luna Classic continue to go down here. So because that trigger, because of Bitcoin, if Bitcoin continues to go down even more, then I do believe the Terra Luna Classic will go down with Bitcoin. That is a massive possibility here because we're going to follow the Bitcoin because Terra Luna Classic will follow Bitcoin. It's super simple. So you have to look at Bitcoin and Terra Luna Classic at the same time. And because of that, there is a chance that we're going to make new lows. How low can we actually go? That is the question. So our next safety area is going to be right over here at 0 0.0001. So that's going to be the next safety area. After that, we're going to have 96. And then all the way here, we have at 78. So all of those are going to be safety areas here for Terminal Classics. So somewhere there we're going to stop if Bitcoin needs to go down. We're going to stop at some of these areas here. So that means it's going to be another correction here. 
most like this is the most we can go down probably is about 53 percent so that's still huge and we're gonna go back to 0 0.0008 now of course it's not a good thing but still you have to be realistic you have to know what's gonna happen here but finally like i said we broke everything we broke these levels that yeah like i said 0 0.0084 so because we broke all these levels that means finally we're gonna see some good things happening if you check out the rsi we were overbought but now we had a correction and that's pretty cool because now if we just stabilize here a little bit we can continue to go up again slowly so if we have stabilization right now for the next couple of days just stabilize here and then try to pump up even more that's gonna be great so plus hopefully in that up and coming days we're gonna see that the 1.2 percent tax burn is going to be implemented in the blockchain and if that happens then we have other triggers that could happen and make the price actually go up and those triggers can actually be exchanges enabling the 1.2 percent tax burn so if we do see exchanges enabling that it's going to be a huge thing and i do believe that because that we're going to see smaller pumps happening here to luna classic but after that we're going to see what's going to happen so there's a lot of things that could happen here to terminal classic we have this article here saying terminal classic zooms and nearly 60 percent in a day is the crypto making a comeback so i do believe that that is a possibility here so after a headline crypto news after its infamous crash triggered by the terminal classic terra usd or usd stablecoin depegging yeah we all know that the cryptocurrency was trading at 0 0.008 in the wee hours of Wednesday and zoom to 0 0.0015. Basically almost doubling here, but we did double in the end. We did make a double. Let me just measure this. So if we measure from the start here, all the way to the top, it's an increase of 189%. That's amazing. That's pretty much amazing. So whoever bought like these lows could have sold right now and made like 200% increase, which is absolutely insane if you're asking me. So yeah, super interesting things that happen happening. We have a lot of chances here. We could continue to go up even more here for Terminal Classic. And plus, we still didn't implement the burn. Once the burns are implemented, then even big, bigger things can start to happen. The community here is forming for Terminal Classic. People are watching this coin. People are super interested into the future of terra luna classic and that's why they just believe in this project because right now the community is working on the project it's not anymore in the hands of the main people doquan and terra labs it's basically in the hands of the community so because of that it just has a lot more power now because it's super decentralized so is luna classic making a comeback on the surface it may appear that terra classic is making a comeback however the cryptocurrency crashed to the abyss in the last month so the price of crypto fell uh, by more than 99.99 percent so based on the sound technical and fundamental analysis analysis do not see any upside in the cryptocurrency in the near future that's what i also think like we're not gonna go to like one dollar anytime soon so anytime we're not gonna go back to one dollar or even like 0 0.001 for that to happen we need to increase a lot more like a lot more all the way here to these numbers so because of that it's a long way to go and the biggest problem is, is the bear market so even if we do pump up even if we do go up eventually we will go down and get rejected because of bitcoin because the whole crypto market that's why you have to be patient and that's why terminal classic is going to be a big gamble because that's the question will terminal classic survive this bear market will people will the community still stay here for terminal classic because the bear market is going to last a pretty long time it's not going to last for like a month or two it's going to probably last here for a year year and a half maybe even two years we're waiting for the next bitcoin halving so when something like that does happen then we're going to be in the bull run but for that to happen stabilization it's going to take just a long time it's going to take a long time will the community stay here for the next one and one and a half years or are people going to be super impatient and the price of the loan class will just continue to go down all depends on what the community will do in the next year and a half like we have pretty similar communities right now like shiba inu but shiba inu has been here for a long time and for the whole time it was like this it was super decentralized and that's why i do believe like shiba inu will continue to be good e until the next bull market so shiba inu will survive and probably make some reversals and probably make some new highs like i said it's going to take time it does have a community here that's going to pretty much last it's going to hold the coin for a pretty long time this is the exact same thing we need here for terra classic the problem with terra classic is, is there's a lot of investors who had bought at these levels and lost everything so pretty much people are scared to even invest into terra classic like at least big investors so that could be a problem in the future but maybe because we don't have dokon here anymore in terra labs 
that things will change. Things could change here for Terra Classic, but time will tell. Time will tell what's going to happen here. Hopefully, we're going to make that reversals, and hopefully, we're going to enter the bull market and then try to continue to go up. Until then, like I said, we're probably going to see some smaller pumps happening here. 50% increases, 100% increase that's going to happen. The corrections are also going to happen. And plus, we're going to go down to some maybe even lower levels than we are right now because of Bitcoin. All depends on what's going to happen to crypto and Bitcoin at the same time. But we're going to see. We're going to see. Still super much exciting. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. And hopefully Terra Classic will survive the bear run. And in the bull run, we're going to see some amazing things happening here again. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, it means so much for me. If you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. But don't forget, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.